previously. Kitchen laundry. Go oh, for it. Yeah. Week five kicked off with a plot of sabotage. We can't afford Phil and Amity to win 10 grand again. Yeah. We're going to flip this switch off right now. Bang. It's just a strategy. You've got to win at all costs. Let the games begin. Up for one all star. You all right? No. I'm not hit. I feel really bad in the chest. The endless stress of the competition became too much. I guess I deserve to have a hard time. No, it's not worth it. They have made the hard decision that Mark won't be continuing in the competition. Tonight. I think it'll be a lot harder today. With Mark's shock departure, our teams are feeling fragile. All of the stuff that's happening to Mark and Duncan is really taking its toll on everybody else. But the block never stops. Bathroom wing was mania, and this is that double. It has to be done tomorrow. Get done what we can only get done, Danny. And for Duncan... What the hell are you guys doing? The bad luck is far from over. The chimney is going to fall over. Out of here. Everyone out of here. There's no work getting done in this room today. I don't know why you... Because you're the one that's stuffed this up for me. Mate, we've had an engineer come I don't and have give a, a crap. You know what? I've had enough of this. I'm going home. Mark's health scare has taken the competition into uncertain territory. Well, what's going on? Do you know if he's all right? Mark won't be continuing in the competition. Seriously? None of our all-stars were prepared for the sudden departure of one of their mates. And emotions are running high. It might be the same without Mark. All the boys come down, we all have a beer and a chat and all old school stuff, you know? Mm. That was what made it really special. And he's, he's just like the dad around, you know? Like... Leaving Mark with wife Jan at his bedside, Duncan has made his way back to house two. So Jan's there with him now? Yeah. Is she all right? No. No, it's a lot on her as well. No, no, no. She's absolutely devastated. Yes, yeah, of course. He's not coming back. No, 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 no good. She won't let him come back. He shouldn't come back. No, no. It's not worth it. No. <laughs> With his teammate Mark out of the competition, Duncan's job just got a whole lot bigger. I've just got half a wall to get down. So, I don't know how much longer I have. I think I've got about half an hour. So I've just got to get down the rest of this wall in the dark. Because I've destroyed the light. Duncan still doesn't know if the chest pain his best mate suffered this morning was a full-blown heart attack. It'll be a long night waiting to hear from Mark's doctors, but at least he won't have to spend it alone. My wife's rung and she's got a babysitter and she said she'll come and fill in, which in itself is quite funny, actually. <laughs> but, uh, look, I'll, I'll be... I'm actually quite excited to see her. I, I think she'll be great. She's, she's really bubbly. She picks up people's spirits. She'll pick mine up and uh, it'll be good to have her here. Six days from delivery of a kitchen and a laundry, our shaken all-stars must get back to business. And they can't afford to make mistakes. Hey, Keith, can I ask you a really quick yes or no question? Yep. Do we have to waterproof the laundry? I'll, put, I'll find out. OK, cool. I'll find out. Cos if we do, yeah. I'll have to get a waterproof here tonight. Yep. Cool, yep. thank you. Keith checks the building code to see if the teams need to lay a waterproof membrane under the tiled floor in the laundry. In our, so in our laundry, we've got the right toilet over here. Yep. Uh, then we've got a basin, then um, washing dryer. Washer dryer roughly here. Yeah. OK. Well, the only bit of waterproofing I think you guys are going to need is probably a little strip. 
above button. above the uh, trough. Yep. And that's it. Oh, you don't need the floor. Don't need to worry about it. Beautiful. That solves all that problems. All right. But Dan and Danny's builder Phil is not happy with Keith's call on the waterproofing. A laundry is a wet area. You got tubs in it. You got a toilet. You got tubs. You need waterproofing. It's got to be waterproofed. Keith just said it didn't. Yeah, well, Keith doesn't know what he's talking about. As a builder, in the game for 35 years, I write a 15-year warranty for waterproofing on all of my bathrooms. But the area in question is technically not a bathroom. It's a laundry. We're just trying to get a proper answer on what we do and don't have to do. Hopefully, we don't have to wet seal it because it's a laundry. It's no different to a, um, a kitchen, and you don't wet seal a kitchen. If they do need to wet seal the laundry floor, there's an 18-hour drying time before anyone could walk on it. But Dan and Danny's Tyler must start work first thing in the morning and finish the whole room tomorrow. But the thing is, he can't start tiling until that's dry. That's yeah. why it needs to be done today. That's why I was going to get in here to do a full wet proof tonight. And now it's all just been up in the air, well, Dan, here, in, like, in all, all over the in joint. In all fairness to everyone, it's not your fault. I it's, know. No, it's no one's fault. Maddie's still got. I know it's no one's fault. Well, Dan. stop carrying on like that. I'm not that. carrying on. You are. I'm a lot not. of people are telling you different things. It's not your fault. Danny, it's not we've your been fault. told five thousand different things I today. Know that. So stop whinging about it. It will get done. Excuse Seriously. me. Seriously. Down at House One, a visit from their real estate agents could lift Phil and Amity's spirits. Our agent is just about to come, and the cathedral ceiling was a lot of their sort of ideas. Has he seen it? He hasn't seen it, and they don't know anything about the, the mezzanine. So we're going to surprise them. <laughs> How are you? Good. Thank, oh, sorry, I'm dusty. Wow. Yeah, so that's going to be like a study. When did you come up with that? About three days ago. Fantastic. So yeah. three bedrooms plus study, huh? Correct. Wow. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms. That's a real point so. of difference, isn't it? Yeah. That's fantastic. Overall, it makes it a more attractive package uh, in its entirety. It could be a $50,000 mezzanine. A good return on the investment, I'd say. So B1 and B2 like what they see, but the inspection isn't over just yet. Happy days. Yeah. The kids' room. Perfect. Oh, oh, yeah, I was just looking at that, wondering. Yeah. When did that happen? Must have been when the tiles were coming off in the other room. So I will just patch it up. Philip. When did that happen? Have you just been know. waiting to tell me that? No, I didn't know. I didn't know that. I know. Were you just waiting to tell me that until I'd had a wine or something? Ready to do. OK, well, I guess that'll be getting patched up, won't Yeah, you? a little bit of patching there. Anyway, where were we? <laughs> At the opens, yes. we'll just stand here. <laughs> That's right. Just this way. That's right. Nothing to see here. That's all right. Patching walls won't be near the top of Builder Brad's to-do list. After a half-day no-work penalty, he's the busiest man on the block. We've got absolutely heaps to do. I mean, I just found out that the time restrictions just kicked in. It's past 5 o'clock. No power tools. I've got to cut these joists out. I've got to prep this floor for the plumbers tomorrow, or they're not going to be able to do a thing. I've still got to cut all these joists out. I don't know what to do. I'm stuck. I'm just not too sure what's going to happen tomorrow now. It's just... it's done. All the teens need to get their laundry tiles down tomorrow because the following day, Freedom Kitchens are due to install the laundry cabinets. That's not my decision. That's how it is. No Sherlock. Therefore, it has to be done tomorrow. We can tomorrow. only get done what we can only get done, Danny. I don't give a what Steg Bar's saying. We can only get done what we it's can only get Steg done. It's not Steg Bar. It's Freedom. They're installing the laundry on Wednesday. There's okay. no room to move. We can only get done what we can only get done. So leave it at that, Danny. You don't hear anything, mate? Nah, it's all good. New missus would be handy. Shut up, Dan. You're here. just forgetting I'm not the one. That's Done we can only get done 
done what we can only get done, Danny. I don't give a f what Stegbar's saying. We can only get done what we can only get done. After clashing with Danny over waterproofing the laundry floor, Dan got onto the building certifier and found out exactly what is needed. Yeah, so great news. The certifier has said he's going to—he's happy to certify it without the wet seal as long as we use um, some sort of cement sheet underneath the tiling and have a waste point somewhere. So that's what we'll do. It saved us $200 and a night of stressing about wet seal. This is the same answer Dan got from Keith three hours ago. But these two are too wound up to think straight. Oh, getting like a pain in the stomach from anxiety. I'm just stressed. Why? Because everyone's being <laughs> Yeah. As if delivering a laundry and bathroom in six days' time isn't enough to deal with, the teams also have to compete to use the least amount of power as they do it. I'm going to see how we're going in the um, power challenge, the II net power challenge. Well, here we go. In the daily usage summary, stars are good. Big numbers are bad. Oh, are we winning or losing? Are we winning? What is Josh and Jenna doing? They're absolutely 16.5. What Josh and Jenna in House 3 are doing is powering House 4 as well. So Dan and Danny can win the challenge. <laughs> Let's see what the result is. Oh, look. Whoa, Josh and Jenna. 16.5. Jeepers. If the Gen Y conspiracy pays off, Dan and Danny will win the right to take a point off another team score come room delivery. Well, at least we're not, you know, consistently the losers. No. So keep doing what we're doing, maybe. All right, turn these lights out. That's right. <laughs> After dark, Duncan's wife, Jen, joins him on the block to become contestant number nine. So, I hear your husband's renovated quite a few homes in his time. You obviously were in there helping. No, I was in the camera shop. So you're not, you're not in the renovating? The camera down does some work. <laughs> Do you like me renovating? No. Boom. Well, today was a day. As for this stupid bloody energy challenge, you know, there's been bigger issues happening. So, pretty emotional day at the block. Mm. Everyone's really, really worried about Mark. Unfortunately, Mark um, isn't here, um, which feels a bit weird. Yeah, I wish I didn't have to. I wish Mark was here. Well, we all wish Mark was here, but thanks for coming and being on top. Bunk. <laughs> Mark was only out the back waving to me, complaining about his cast iron bath this morning, and you know, didn't ever think. Did I ever, ever would have thought that he would have been in hospital and he would have not be coming back on the block? Obviously, it took its toll on his body, and that's what happens. He's been through a rough trot, and so has Jan, and um, you know, these things happen, and uh, we all um, we're all thinking about him. But I know he wants to come back, but he can't. Tonight's diary cam is for you, Mark. We miss you, we love you, we want you to come back and definitely still, you're still with us. You're still here with us. The following morning, the charms of Duncan's new housemate are making up for the loss of his old one. Jen's a little different to Mark in the morning. It was a different experience waking up and seeing something beautiful rather than something so. like a bear coming out of hibernation. It, it's a different sort of day today. A bit weird. It's not just me. Everyone's a bit upset Mark's not here. You know, you take out one person and it's not the same. It doesn't feel like the same old block anymore. Everyone's just feeling it. All of the stuff that's happening to Mark and Duncan is really taking its toll on everybody else emotionally. I think it'll be a lot harder today. Um, not having Mark here, but at the same time, you know, we're all here to help Duncan and Jen's here and I'm sure she'll do better than he could do anyway. There'll be no easing in gently for Jen. I've got my gloves on. With five days until a double room delivery, today will be sink or swim. Bathroom week was mania and this is that double. 
because it's a bathroom, laundry and a kitchen. And every time I keep looking at it, I think there's physically no possible way that it will be done by reveal. Slow and steady, though. So it's nice and even. This is how it's said on the video, slow like that. I'd rather be somewhere less dirty and stinky and dusty and flamey. <laughs> it's crazy. Brad loves it, loves it. They all love it. But I, it's not really my natural habitat. It's nicer being in here than out there. Like, it's chaos. I can't do out there. I try and I can't. I get in everyone's way. It's like, oh. Jen's come on board just for tonight and today. Just, she said, let's just do one step at a time. Look, not the, not the best worker on a building site. Um, best mother but uh, it's not really her field. But look, I think she's having a bit of fun. Yeah, well, I was thinking of going home. I was thinking of just going, just leaving. And he wouldn't know for hours. She's at the moment, she's uh, on the phone sourcing a bit of uh, materials for me, so that's great, and she's great at that. I'm trying to source 20,000 marbles for my husband, and <laughs> I don't know when he... He needs them probably by tomorrow. Duncan is planning to fill a hollow glass splashback above the kitchen bench with marbles. It's not going to be easy to pull off, but it's another of his wacky design ideas that's causing a problem this morning. I've been given the OK to cut out the back. Of that flew? Oh, yeah, flew out, cut the back out, yep. and then push in three-sided fish tank, put the oven back in it. It's good. It's done. The heritage stove must be incorporated in the new kitchen. And Duncan has had his heart set on building a fish tank around sure. it since week yeah. one. The tank goes from the floor. It goes all there. away from the floor. From the floor. Sits on the floor and comes up to about here. For some reason, they've, they've cut the wall away that was, was going across the back of it. There's only one skin of bricks holding up, I'd say, three or four tonnes of, of brickwork above it. Engineer time. Definitely engineer time. I don't think he's going to get a fish tank in there, unless the, the engineer can come up with some brilliant way of doing it. That was sort of designed and made about three weeks ago, so it's all ready to go in, where the kitchen... But when you uh, measured your fish tank, you must have realised you only had one skin of bricks. Yeah, I did, but that's why when I came and said, can we cut the back out, the answer back was, yeah. I always thought it was a bit OK, but I'm not an engineer. Maybe you guys should have interrogated a bit further before we went ahead. Those holes in those bricks. A structural change like this should have been okayed with the engineer. But when Keith gets him on the blower, it's the first he's heard of it. You know that, that fish tank in Mark and Duncan's play? N not really? Uh huh. Well, they told me that you'd come and had a look at it. Obviously, you haven't. Uh, well, we've got a real scary situation. Somewhere along the line, there's been a communication breakdown. It's just really scary. I don't know why they've continued on when they've realised they've got a situation, but, mate, I'm petrified. As they race to complete their laundry and kitchen, Josh and Jenna are also redecorating the formal lounge they delivered last week. It's because we're going to make it more of a family room rather than a formal sitting room. So now it's been judged, we can put in something big and comfy and, yeah, I think it's the best way to go. One style to impress the judges, okay. another style to appeal to buyers. Thanks, boys. Thank you. Gamesmanship like this is typical of the newlyweds, who are also scheming to control this week's power-saving challenge. We feel a bit guilty about doing the whole power thing, uh, especially after what happened at Mark. I said to Danny, you know, I know we all feel guilty and we don't want to do it, but at uh, the end of the day, we still don't want Phil and Amy to win another $10,000. I'm sure Mark and Duncan don't want them to win it either, so um, subconsciously, we're probably doing the right thing. I don't know how right I feel about it, but at the same time, it is a game. It is still a game, and we need to, we need to win, basically. We took the power lead off for all of yesterday, but now it's back on again because uh, we just want to ensure that the Phil and Amy don't win and the game goes on. All the teams are strapped for cash, so the 10 grand prize money this week could allow the winner to take control of the whole competition. It's 
kind of aimed at Phil and Amity solely because they've won so much money. And if they take out this room win as well, then none of us are going to actually be able to finish our houses, including Mark and Duncan. Back at house two, Duncan is still waiting for the engineer's advice on how to deal with the unstable chimney. Uh, we did ask before we did it. Uh, we asked. They said, go for it. So we went for it and that's a problem. Is it my problem? No. Kids' problem? Yes. But when the engineer says clear the site, suddenly it is Duncan's problem. No one's working at it anymore. That's it. Till the engineer comes and gives us some pointers on how we can fix this up. We're just remaining out of that whole area. Everybody. Hey guys. Out of here. Out of here. Everyone out of here. There's no work getting done in this room today. Until the engineer comes and, and gives us the OK, we're staying out of here. When's he coming? He'll probably come here about 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Um, but there's nothing going to... We're not going to do any more in here. I'm really scared. Really scared. So it's a total stop work in house two. And there's more bad news from Jen who's been on the marble hunt. Dunk, we've got a marble problem. A marble problem? Why? They only sell, they don't, they only sell flat, the flat colours to start with, and then it, it goes, I don't think you get that many marbles in Sydney. And I've gone, okay. And we've I got go, bigger problems, we've got marble problems. No, 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 let's just get out of there. Just let the brickies in there and that's it. Everyone else out of there. Just get out of there. Bleeding from both nostrils, I'm on my knees, um, really. Uh, just give me the finishing blow. Uh, I've lost my mate. Uh, we've lost the room. I've lost the chimney almost. We've lost our marbles. Oh. Morning, girls. Hello. I have a visitor. Two of us are going shopping, first time ever in this series. I'm actually shopping with someone, because Mark would never come with me, of course. And um, we can't do anything else because our, um, site's closed. our site's closed. House two is closed down until the engineer can advise Keith on how to re-brick the base of the chimney stack to make it strong again. The scenario is not looking good. I personally think he's either going to say build an extra skin. If we do it on the inside, it means the fish tank doesn't fit, which has been three weeks in the making. Uh, or he's going to say, re-brick up the opening that we've taken out, which means the fish tank won't fit because it's already been measured and made. Or we brick on the outside, which means the kitchen doesn't fit because it's been measured and made. So the boys, eh? The boys yeah. got shut down. I didn't hear about that. The chimney is going to fall over. Apparently they cut the back out for a um, fish tank. A fish tank? Put a, you put a, put a stove in there. No, well, they're putting a fish tank. They're going to make that into a fish tank, are So you've got fresh fish. <laughs> put on the stove. Stop. Oh, you, you get your cod out. you got Nemo. <laughs> you your... What's going to happen? Well, well, I don't know. I haven't even seen that. They've closed the side. See, it's all netted up, so you think. They can't, bloody. The poor it's old one boys. blow after another for them. Yeah. We'll need to get in there and sort that out. We will. Yeah. I think yeah. some, like tomorrow, we'll be getting there all day. Yeah, I think so. Well, I was saying to Dan, we should get in there and fix it up, or, you know. But you can't actually get in there until the engineer comes. Um, but it, it does look like it could collapse at any minute. When Chris the engineer finally turns up, Keith isn't interested in keeping the fish tank dream alive. Oh, I see what they've done. No, they've certainly weakened the hell out of the chimney, there's no doubt about that. <laughs> I was working up there, I turned around, and I've yeah. gone, what the hell are you guys doing? Mm. We need to strengthen it up because if, if it takes any lateral load at all, it's very weak about this point here. Yeah. So what, what we need to do is shoot some brick ties into the bottom and start another skin building all the way up here and tie it in as we go with brick ties. Get all of this old render off so that it bonds together. Um, and then I'd be happy with it. All right, so that's it. Another way of doing it. It's the safest way, that's the way I saw it. Hello? Duncan. Keith. How are you, mate? Oh, good, good. Thank goodness you're ringing, isn't it? Good news, bad news, or other? Well, it's good news in one way. Um, 
the engineer has advised us that we need to put another skin of brickwork, but he wants it on the inside of the, of the, uh, the, the chimney. So he wants another skin of brickwork going all the way up the underside of the chimney to pick up. So we can't put it on the outside? We can't put it on the outside, no. There's, he wants it tied on the inside. Yeah, OK. All right, well, we're heading back there now. Fish tank's still going to fit, or is it not going to fit? No, it's not going to fit. I don't order a fish tank 110 mil shorter than it should be. OK. All right, mate. OK. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks mate. Bye. 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 I'm a bit pissed off, I must say. You know, I organised this a month ago and um, it's all been made, ready to go in. And uh, I checked things up and I made sure that everything's fine and uh, I'm a bit annoyed. Uh, this was like our key feature that we've been working on ever since we were told we have to do something with the oven. Seriously, just tear my scrotum off my body now because I don't think things could get any more painful. Getting things done in the crowded kitchen and laundry spaces is about to get even more complicated after a special delivery. All of the team's white goods will now need to be stored on site. So where'd you guys come from? Just up at... from Sydney? Nah, from Melbourne. From where? Melbourne. You've driven from Melbourne with this stuff? Yeah. You're kidding? Nah, not at all. You've driven all the way from Melbourne? Yeah. Just for us? Yeah, we love it, mate. You're kidding? Yeah, we love this stuff. <laughs> Same well, as last year, mate. What are ENS trading? Like, what, what do you guys do? Oh, just kitchen, bathroom, and laundry, mate. Yeah. Yep. What does ENS stand for? I don't know. <laughs> Can't put me on the spot like that. <laughs> There's a few. <laughs> Come on, you can't put me on the spot like that. No, 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 that's, that's fine. <laughs> Who was your favourite couple from last year? Probably Dan and Danny. Dan and Danny? Yeah. Right. Well, we've got plenty of stuff for him, so we'll be right. <laughs> So you're giving all the good stuff and where you get all the Nick stuff, yeah? <laughs> Not at all, mate. It's all the seconds. All quality stuff at ENS. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Whatever that stands for. <laughs> After getting the phone call from Keith, Duncan cut short the shopping trip and made a beeline back to the block to take up the fight for the fish tank. I'm sure the engineer, if we can give him some other options, will say, yeah, look, that's feasible, hopefully. If not, the worst scenario is we're no worse off than where we are now. But when Duncan confronts Keith, the foreman's mind is already made up. I just want to just have a think about other options and get a tape out and have a look, that's all. Mm. Uh, I reckon we stay out of there. Until it's bricked up, I reckon. We're better off just staying out of there. So you spoke to the engineer and the only thing he's satisfied with is an, is an inside skin going up to the underside of that concrete lintel. Correct. It's too fragile. <clears throat> if we start drilling holes and tapping it, it can come down. He doesn't want us doing that. But if, anyway, we, if, we, if we prop underneath the fire... No, he sparks, that's how it's getting done. I don't care. That's, that's how it's getting done. That's how it's getting done. Otherwise, you stay out of there. It's having an inside skin. The engineer's no, well, wait a minute, gone. wait a minute. It's not a matter of saying it's done my way or it's done no way. OK, there are other ways to do things. And to say the answer is it's this way or it's no way is wrong. Mate, we've had an engineer come and have a look I don't give a crap. I can still go to the engineer yeah. with another idea. Yeah, whatever. What's so you're saying I can't have well, any other well, ideas with the engineer? That. You go and do it. I'm just telling you what the engineer said to me. I don't know why you because you're the one that's stuffed this up for me. I came to you three weeks ago and said, can I take that back wall out? And you said, yes, I've had the engineer look at it and it's fine. And I've taken the back out and now you're saying I can't, it's my problem. Okay. I thought you were working with me on this. OK, no worry. You're not working with me? No, whatever, Duncan. Well, did you, well, did, you want, say, did you say I could yeah, take I the back done, out? I would have stopped it. I knew there was a fish tank going in there, but I didn't go into how you were putting it in there. I just stand by my tree. I said to you, can I take the back of the wall out? OK, mate, I'm not arguing anymore. Why not? It's not an argument, it's a discussion, which you're yeah. turning into an argument because you won't discuss it. Yeah, OK. Do what you want, mate. Yeah, well, OK, once again, I'll put on the foreman hat and I'll take over and make sure it's done right. Sometimes I feel a little mad. You know what, I've had enough of this. Don't you know that no one alive can always be an angel? When things go wrong, I seem to be bad.
I'm going on. He's gone. Mark's departure from the block for health reasons has changed the game for everyone. Everyone's just feeling it. All of the stuff that's happening to Mark and Duncan is really taking its toll on everybody else emotionally. Duncan's wife Jen has stepped in to help, but she's not staying. And who could blame her? I don't know why you because you're the one that's stuffed this up for me. I just stand by my tree. I thought you were working with me on this. OK, no worries. You're not working with me. You know what, I've had enough of this. Duncan's plan to install a fish tank in the base of the old chimney has fallen foul of the foreman. When I, when I saw the situation, all I really care about is just making the site safe. I saw a disaster waiting to happen. Now, it doesn't really matter what anyone else says. At the end of the day, the engineer's here, and once he's given us a piece of advice, we have to take that and follow that. I've been on a building site long enough to know there's always another way around something. It just sometimes needs a little bit of investigating, uh, a little bit of thinking, uh, and that's all I wanted. Eventually, Keith agrees to call Chris the engineer and run Duncan's idea for reinforcing the chimney base past him. With that uh, brickwork, what I was thinking, are we able to prop up the inside of the brickwork and then put a skin on the outside? I've put that through to the engineer. He's agreed to do that. So it's a win-win. We're going to strengthen up the chimney and Duncan can still have his fish tank. Everyone's happy. Keithy, I knew you'd do it. Hey? Of course words are said. Of course words are, because everyone's a bit, you know, it's a high-strung site. I was cranky. Yeah. I went in there and offered Keith a beer to sort of say, look, no hard feelings. He still seemed a little angry. Yeah. And look, I th again, he's probably had a bad day. But the bottom line is, you know what? At least he did fix the problem. I think everyone on this site's had a bad day today. <laughs> so that's a, that's a bit of a win. You go ahead and he can install his fish tank. And we're going to make it safe by putting a skin on the outside. Everybody's happy. All right, look, thanks very much. And we'll have this beer after tools down. No worries. No hard feelings. No worries, mate. Thanks for that. Look, I don't think he was about to give me any high fives. He thought he'd finish that job and he could move on to the next. I understand. Uh, and I got frustrated. But look, all, all's good now. And uh, that's what it's like on a building site. The site shut down over the chimney has cost Duncan half a day. So, Phil has decided to lend a hand. But if we just take the bricks out from the top... Yeah, so I'll just cut that bit so I can knock it down. Yeah, you tell me when. Well, no, you tell me when, and then I'll start hitting. OK. Phil! OK, go. Top right. That's it. Here, oh. Mate, you're going for it, Doug. That's good. Keep going. I've got to watch that glass. Keep going. Here comes a big bit. Look at the whole wall come out. I couldn't have sat down and written a worse script for us for a beginning of a week. And uh, maybe this is things looking up a bit. I'm in a much better place than I was two hours ago, so that, that's good. That's good. Yes! <laughs> Thanks, Phil. No good on you. It's what you've got to do is help your mates. Makes a big difference. I've got a much better chance of getting the laundry done now. Both of them have come and given me a hand and so on. Sort of back on track a little bit. Thanks, Jenna. Oh, that's all right. Uh, very nice neighbours. Uh, makes a big difference. Duncan is not the only one with his work cut out for him. Phil and Amity's builder, Brad, is still making up for a half a day work ban yesterday. Oh. Bit heavy. Hang on. Got some beautiful merb out here. This is going to create a magnificent staircase. Can't wait. Brad's working hard. We've got power tools going everywhere. And Brad's routing the stairs. But he looks like he's on the Gold Coast with one of those spray cans. Don't tame the beast. Let the beast roar. Five o'clock. I was so close. 
Hey, Brad, you haven't worked hard enough today, mate. Yeah, I know. I've got to pull my finger out. <laughs> what are you doing to that man? Well, Somebody's I mean, doing a mezzanine, right? He's doing cathedral ceilings and he's doing a bathroom in a week and a bit. What are you doing to him? You're a nice bloke, but man, you are a big taskmaster. And a, and a loft. We've got storage up the top. It's amazing, isn't it? So what happens if he breaks down? You're responsible, mate. You want to see me on a router? <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that. I think the output is enormous. There's yeah. not many brads. Yeah. When you said yeah. tame the beast, yeah. I said I'm not going to tame the beast. Mate, if I were you, I'd let him go. Let the beast go? Let him go. Yeah. Let him go. How would you like to own your very own piece of the block? Head to 9msn.com.au forward slash the block and follow the links to the block shop where you can find great deals on products used this season. Just after knockoff time, there's some good news at last. Howdy, how are you going? Hello, how are you? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm a bit better. <laughs> You're a bit late. What's happened? Sorry? Where the hell are you, hey? Think you can get out of a day? <laughs> Yeah, no, um, I'm all, I'm okay. Yes, I've got to have a few tests done. Um, sure. I'm going to go get my blood pressure taken tomorrow. I'm going to go and do a stress test. You're sounding better than yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just going to take it easy and just make sure I keep the blood pressure down a bit and yeah. get the cholesterol down and yep. all the things that we're supposed to do anyway. Yeah. Well, everyone here misses you, and everything everything's gone well. You know, we haven't had. It's been smooth, smooth sailing. You know, it all comes down to organising it well from the beginning. So, yeah. so it's been a nice day. Good. But he's not the same without you. <laughs> you just make sure you rest, and uh, I'll call you tomorrow. All right, thanks for that. Bye, okay. Honey. Get well. Bye. See Bye. ya. Smooth sailing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, nah, it's been good. Well, never have I lied so well, hey. I've called Duncan and his temporary teammate, wife Jen, to my block HQ for an emergency meeting. Oh, that seriously must have been the worst day for any person that's ever played a block game. I don't think more has ever gone wrong yeah. in two days. Seriously, yeah. could any more go wrong? I'm so far behind now, it's not funny. That was the worst and it just came, This was meant to be the best week. And oh, no. um, nothing's gone right, nothing. Even if I didn't have to go home to the kids, I couldn't do any more. <laughs> That's just not nuts. I can't do it. Ah, yes. With Jen ready to go back to normal life, I've got to make a new plan with Duncan. Oh, no. Oh, hello, guys. How are you? S sorry we're late. Don't be silly. You're we never late. we a few dramas. You're never late. Come and sit down. You've met contestant number nine? I number have nine. met contestant number nine. And do getting... doesn't she look spectacular in her outfit? Yeah, she's done really well today. Come and have a seat. Guess what? I've got a cold beer oh, for you yes. and a glass of water for contestant number nine. Number oh, thank nine you loves water. <laughs> That'll clear some of the dust out of my throat. Oh, what a rough couple of days. <laughs> it's been a shocker. <laughs> yeah, it's been a shocker. At least we know Mark's all right, though. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. But it is going to take a little bit of time for him to recover. And as we know, the block is no place to recuperate. But the bottom line is, buddy, I don't think you can finish the rest of this thing on your own. No, I can't. I can't. No, well, no, 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 even today was a shocker, seriously. Yeah. Uh, you you know, can't. It, I can't. It, no. It's too hard. So, I've come up with a list of possible suspects to give you a hand. Ex-contestants. Well, they're a motley crew. They're lunatics like you. Mm. I'm only guessing this, of course. Yes. <laughs> Will they work with me? Well, I don't know that yet. <laughs> <laughs> you can only no. ask them. We can only ask them. OK. So, I want you to take your time. OK. I want you to flick through this, have a look, have a think. A possible new partner in crime who is not replacing Mark, just helping you out. I'll leave you with it. Oh, OK. Um, Stephen and Richard, they were great characters. You wouldn't it only takes Duncan half a cold schooner to make a very strategic decision. OK, folks. <laughs> oh. How did you go? Well, wow. It, it was a bit harder than I thought. Yeah, of course. But, uh, look, I must say, mm -hmm. 
We've got the garden to do coming up. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm really not a big fan of doing gardens, picking plants, <laughs> and I think I could struggle there. Yes. Uh, and so logically to me, uh, I thought this bloke here was a real character and I think we'd get on famously, but more to the point, he's a landscaper and I think that just gives him the edge as far as my decision goes. If, if he's happy to work for me, I, I think it has to be Dale. And he's funny. He is funny. You need happy people. He, look, no one will replace Mark. No. But that's not a bad choice. Yeah. Dale could be your man. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks. Where's mine? <laughs> <laughs>